sailing weather nor good fruit picking weather. Uh, but it will improve by the end of the week. In the immediate future, we've got yet another belt of rain, or two belts, and strong winds, particularly tonight. And this sort of weather, the windy wet weather, will last until about midweek. At the moment, the second of this weekend's band of rain is running across the country. Well, across Scotland it's fairly heavy, and across the southern counties of England it's coming back as fairly heavy. In between, it's just rather annoying, and Northern Ireland, of course, at the moment is sunny. So the whole process is still moving from west to east relatively quickly, though it does last a long time. Once it starts raining, it'll last six to eight hours. And I think the rain will never leave southern counties of England today and will return with a vengeance through Ireland, Wales, and the southwest of England be at or just before dusk, whereas elsewhere it should be a little bit better. Temperatures today and this week will not be a significant problem. The air's not cold, and the wind's always going to be from the south or the west, at least up until late Wednesday. But it's the strength of the wind that's a worry tonight, as you have already know, gusts of 60 miles an hour, and the amount of rain, another two inches, are certainly possible. The area most at risk for this being disruptive are the southwest of England, Wales, maybe the northern Midlands, northern England, southern Scotland, and possibly northern Ireland, this general area. And the winds could gust 60. But the rain, I think, might cause more of a problem. This is the forecast for it. The dark reds, or the light reds, are going through Ireland and north Wales, show where the heaviest rain is likely to be. It goes through quickly overnight, but it takes that sort of line. So if we're going to warn any more than we have of the severity of the weather, that's where it's likely to be. And you can see why it's the way it is. It's a big autumnal low. We blow everything out of the way by tomorrow lunchtime. That's where the rain will be by that time. And it's a typical windy, showery picture. You've seen it before. You see it every autumn. The lines are tight. So, yes, gale force winds and possibly in the lee of hills, for example, the Pennines, it could be even worse than that. Tuesday is a similar day, but with that having brought more rain to southern England. So Monday and Tuesday then, generally windy and wet affairs. Not all the showers will get across to the eastern side of Britain. It'll be a west-east thing, but some certainly will. By Tuesday, many southern counties of England may well see more substantial rain. Elsewhere, it's sunshine and showers. But from Wednesday onwards, it all quietens down. There'll be less wind and, I think, fewer showers. In actual fact, it'll get cold enough in Scotland for a touch of frost from Thursday night onwards.